Hi, I'm Giovanni and I'm here to review the Vanguard VS82 tabletop tripod. <laughs> tabletop tripod, yeah. Um, first of all, it's very compact. Legs go right in and they fold down and you can take it away. And this whole thing comes off just like a standard, just like any other uh, standard tripod that you would see out there. And you drop the camera, of course. <laughs> no, you don't. And yeah, so it's very compact to fit in your bag and it works great. Um, one of the features I do like about this is that the legs do extend out. So you do get a very uh, stable, uh, uh, stable platform to shoot from. And it doesn't have a removable plate. That's the only gotcha that I think some reviewers may not like. Um, there are a few others, other uh, portable tripod that do have that feature, but the ratings on those weren't that great. Oops, I'm taking a picture. And so I would recommend this one at $28 because it's actually very stable. This is a EOS, this is a Canon 50D, which is a heavier magnesium body camera. And even when I lower it to one of the lower, more less comfortable spots, I think for most um, desktop uh, tripods, it doesn't really tip. I doubt that you would be shooting in that in that position, but when you're shooting out even lower, even a slightly um, facing down, it it will hold. Um, and that's what its legs extended, and that's kind of nice because you get that full um, support. I have attached before this bigger lens, and it worked pretty good too. Um, of course, when I pointed it directly down, it had a more tendency to, to want to fall over, but with a big telephoto lens, I doubt you'd be shooting down anyways. This, that would be more of a macro lens, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, position. But with most shooting um, modes, this would be um, probably very, um, very stable. Another thing I do like about this is that if you have a super light, if you have a lighter camera, this neck will extend out. Um, this made it a little bit less stable, especially with a bigger lens. And if you were pointing it down, you would have more of a uh, desire <laughs> or tendency for it to fall over. But it didn't when I sh when I tried it. It just felt a little bit less stable. So I mainly use it just like that, and it works great. Would I recommend buying this? Definitely at twenty eight dollars. It'll last. You know, two to three years, I think, with uh, lots of use and lots of moving around. It might even last you longer if you don't uh, take it anywhere. Um, I do find the build quality on this to be pretty good. It doesn't, uh, it hasn't fallen apart yet. I've had it for about three months and I do use it. My wife uses it maybe, oh, uh, two to three times a week um, in, in our studio space. So it works great, especially if you have a tight studio space and um, you're looking to, um, um, to have your camera more or less in a position where it's gonna be at for a long periods of time and you don't wanna move it and you wanna use a cable release on it. So I would definitely get it, $28, a good buy. And I would definitely um, get a Canon camera as well while you're at it on Amazon. They have great prices on most anything. Uh, yeah, that's my my uh, my plug for, for Amazon. All right, have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this and you found this to be useful. You can find me at, uh, you can, Talk to me at Giovanni at rightclickgadget.com and I will answer any questions or uh, give you any kind of uh, hints on technology or anything else that you, you thought you think you might want me to, to, uh, to help with. All right. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.